Now, automation is one of the hottest topics in the telecom industry. And to find out where we are on the journey to automating processes and networks, I'm talking with Stefan Walraven, co-founder and CEO at Inmanta. So, Stefan, great to see you. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, what do you see as the state of play when it comes to service orchestration and automation? So automation is really about the customers. So delivering a much better customer experience and more innovation. It's about delivering your products and service faster to the market, but also new products and, and uh, new service to launch them faster. And in the end, to save time because of efficiency so that your people can innovate even more. And that's something, actually this message is already there for a couple of years. And do we see there an, an evolution in, in, in the telcos? No, they're still at the same level in my opinion. And that's a fundamental problem. They really have to speed up and, and act now. And it's not anymore about these multi-year programs and, and a lot of investments. You can really do that in a, in a short time. And, and if you really want to be able to retain your customers, definitely in these currently economically challenging times, it's really important to retain your customers. How are they going to do that with the current level of, of um, customer experience if you have competitors like Google, Amazon, uh, Microsoft? So that is the real question. And why does Inmanta feel that there's space in the market, uh, given that there are a lot of already established players? Yeah, it's true. So we are not introducing a new type of product. It, it's uh, an orchestration platform, with some building blocks, and there are other vendors also offering orchestration. But these vendors are actually network equipment vendors or uh, BSS or other players. They are now extending their portfolio and extending their capabilities to also support or, um, orchestration. Um, in that sense, we are different. We, are, we don't have this legacy. We are a pure play automation and orchestration player with a strong software engineering background. And we, we don't have this uh, legacy and we... Um, we truly believe that the telecom operators can be as scalable as the hyperscalers and, and, and as agile if we provide them the right tools and a way and teach them how to use this in a proper way. And that's why we found it in Manta because we really think we can make a difference there. Uh, and what do you think makes your company different to some of these others? So, yeah. How we are different, it's, uh, in, in the end, we, we provide a platform and, and a set of tools and, and building blocks, but we designed it with, with uh, specific things in our mind. So first of all, it's all about 100% automation. It's across multiple domains and also across the stack. Um, and that's the only way to, to really deliver this, uh, this on-demand customer experience. And uh, we believe you can achieve that with truly intent-based orchestration. Then base is a buzzword, we know, but that's why we really mentioned the truly. It's, uh, it's really about getting a limited level of, uh, of input, um, of a limited number of parameters, and based on that, really deliver things in the network, uh, fully automated. The second point is that a telco is an environment that is not consisting of one vendor or one monolithic solution. You have to be able to integrate with the legacy, with the current systems, but also with future systems. So there is a need for flexibility and, and, a, and a flexible architecture. And that's, we, we provide a, a vendor agnostic best of breed solution that allows our, our customers to really combine with whatever they have available now in their existing network and then also be able to evolve to the future. The third point is something I already made is Orchestration is really strategic, so we really believe they should own this themselves. And the skill set is for every operator um, is different, so that's why we also offer different approaches. It can be like one operator say, I want to do it completely myself. We provide the tools, the platform, and teach them, and they can do it. And if they need assistance, we are there, but we don't have to be there. So it's not a goal to keep on selling services all the time. On the other hand, there are operators say, I, I can't do this at this moment, so help us. So we sit together, co-create a solution, reuse a lot of building blocks that we have so that I can later on also start using these building blocks and start composing and creating new services. So there is also, we build something, but there is a knowledge transfer so that in the future they can do it themselves. I think that's a really important aspect. And then finally, 
there's no time anymore and they don't want to invest anymore in these multi-year programs and, and uh, projects. Um, and that's also our viewpoint. We want to bring value as soon as possible. So it's really from day one, there should be some value. And I, actually we can deliver an end-to-end -end fully automated service within a time frame that most typical operators cannot deliver as a PO. So that's really about the speed. That's how fast it should go. And um, and it's not with a with a big army of people to do that. It's really with a small team, but of good software engineers. And you can, can count the number of people on your two hands. That's the side of the team we, we work with. Now, uh, what are the hot orchestration areas that, that your company is working on? Can you give us uh, just a few examples? Yeah, so... Um, there are a lot of hot topics and in different domains. So you have now a lot of investments in fiber. So these fiber access networks like GPON, GSPON, there is a lot of uh, a request for automation there. Um, you have uh, inter-carrier and inter-cloud communication. That's also an, an aspect we are really involved. That's really about connectivity. On the other side, you have 5G. The, the big question is, that, what is the killer use case? I think the operators still don't know. Um, but we see, uh, for example, uh, a lot of friction about private mobile networks, where we also help them to really deliver such a project, uh, such a um, network within 15 minutes from scratch, actually, if the, the infrastructure is available, of course. Um, but a, a good customer case, a successful case, is uh, something we did at uh, Bix, which is a, a communication server provider for wholesale and uh, roaming. Um, where they wanted to, or they provide already a, a Cloud Connect solution to connect enterprises in an easy way to the different cloud providers, Amazon, Google, Azure. And we, we uh, introduced Imanta as behind their customer portal, and this process is fully automated, so the customer can really go to a self-service portal, order the service, and instead of a process that took six, six to eight weeks to deliver this service, we're talking about three minutes now. And this has a, an immediate impact on actually the customer experience. And they also notice certainly an impact on, on the revenue because a lot more customers are using it and also like to use it now. And that's, I think, a very good example of what automation can do on even on the revenue and creating value to, to the end customer. And, and finally, what are the plans for growth and future success at Inmanta? Yeah, so... We, we, we really believe in this 100% automation, but it's also not realistic to claim that there will be this magic silver bullet that we can deliver 100% automation out of the box for every use case. And you also don't want that. You want to have some flexibility to customize, to distinguish yourself from your competitors. Um, but we want to try to be there as close as possible so that our operators can also move fast. Um, because you, if they want to have to start from scratch everywhere, it takes way too long. Um, that's where we are working on building more and more building blocks on top of our platform so that they can use it out of the box and start composing. We're also working a lot with uh, complementary vendors that have the same mindset, being agile, innovative, and we're also looking for more of them so that we can together build an integrated solution, provide this to, to the operators so that they can really move fast and, and increase their customer experience. Stefan, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Thanks very much.